Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to anyone that's checked out my channel already, that has subscribed, liked, all that great stuff. So if you haven't seen previous videos already, please go check them out. I really appreciate it. And hopefully there's something there that you can benefit from. But continuing with um, talking about uh, individual teams and you know stuff relating to them, this is something that's uh, dawned on me for quite a bit now that I don't understand why it isn't gain as much attention as I think it should. And that is the goaltending situation with the Washington Capitals. I look at currently what is happening with them, with uh, Ilya Samsonov and Braden Holpe. And there's a lot of questions there, and I truly think I have the answer. So I'm going to just break this down now. So kind of in relation with the New York Rangers too, and this is a video I will probably do separately going down the road, is the new wave of goaltending in the Metro Division of the NHL. When you have guys like Ilya Samsonov, which what he's doing this rookie season, which I will get to, what Igor Shosturkin is doing with for the New York Rangers, and ultimately what could um, possibly be the next franchise goalie for the New York Islanders and their top goal to, goaltending prospect, Ilya Sorokin, and what he is currently doing in the KHL, assuming that he comes to the NHL either next season or the following season, that can be huge for three young phenoms um, in the Metro, you know, all battling it out and for a really long time. I'm really excited for that. I really hope it happens, truly. I think that only brings um, more entertainment to the game. And having that big three in um, Russian goaltenders, I find very fascinating. So hopefully that comes to fruition, but that's something that I will talk about separately another day. But for now, Ilya Sorokin, this is why I made this video. With, with what's been going on with the Capitals this season, obviously they have had a very um, great first half of the season. Um, the uh, best team in the NHL currently, obviously with the Boston Bruins right around them and Tampa Bay Lightning creeping up as well and the St. Louis Blues out in the um, uh, the West uh, Western Conference. But Sorokin has been fantastic, and I mean fantastic, for the Washington Capitals in a limited role that he's had, which I do not understand. And 16 games played um the rookie goaltender has a record of 12 2 and 1 and i'm not sure if that other one is um from uh him coming later in the game or what but regardless sorokin has been fantastic for them he has a goals allowed average of 2.24 and a save percentage of 921 and given the fact that he is on only his second year of his entry level contract with the capitals only making 200, I mean, not 200, 925K. That is great for them. And he looks like he's going to be the goaltending of the future for this Capitals team. And he's only 22. So things are only going to get better. But in regards to him, he deserves to at least be getting half of the playing time, you know, split half and half between him and Holtby, Holtby for the last 40 or so games of the season. Holtby has not been good. In my opinion, I think Holpe is unbelievably overrated. What he's what had what he has been doing this season and the past two seasons, really starting out um, in their cup run, uh, the Caps had two seasons ago. He was not a huge part of their success. I understand that come playoff time, he started to step it up, which is always great. That's the most important thing. But at the end of the day, how you get there is also important. And Holpe didn't have a terrible season, but nothing nearly as good as years prior. He only had a nine oh seven save percentage. And um, in 50 or so games are played. But Philip Grubauer was a huge part in their success that season, their backup, who's now the starter with the Colorado Avalanche. Grubauer played around 35 games that season, had a goals allowed average of lower than 9.2, and added a save percentage of, of over 920. Grubauer, without them, they would not have had the run that they had, and ultimately Holpe just um, put the foot down when the games mattered most. But since then, Hopi has continued to be unbelievably inconsistent, and I think that the Capitals need to go in a direction with him not being in their future anymore. Obviously, um, Hopi this season, in 32 games played, has 18 wins, 9 losses, 4 overtime losses, but a goals allowed average of 3.02 and a save percentage of 899. Not that good, especially for how much um, he's, play he's played double the amount of games that Sorokin has, and I don't think that makes any sense. Sorokin has been by far the be better goaltender, obviously in a more limited role, but I think he's only going to prosper when given more playing time. So for the Caps' sake, I get it that they've been winning, but especially Hopi lately going into this new year, it has not looked good. In his last five games, he has one win and four losses. He has allowed 19 goals, 
and he has a save percentage of 893 or lower during that span. And he only had that high of a save percentage in one of those last five games. Before that, they were all in the range of um, 810, you know, to high as like 880. But overall, he has not been that good. Sororkin has continued to thrive in any situation they put him in. And he definitely deserves to be getting at least half the playing time. And if you look at the situation, obviously Sororkin being on his entry-level contract. And then you have Holpe, who's a 30-year-old goaltender who, in my opinion, is really regressing. He's benefiting from being on a very um, good defensively structured team in the Washington Capitals. As is Sororkin, that is, their defense is for sure helping them, but I don't think it incorporates into all of his success. The Capitals have the 12th best defense in the league, so a little bit above average, and they have the 4th best penalty kill in the league, and obviously their um, offense has continued to be dynamic. They have the 5th best offense in the league, and the goals obviously help on that part, but I'm just saying... Do they benefit from having a strong defense? Yes. But at the end of the day, they're still, they've are still they lost single games single-handedly to Holpe more often than not this season versus what um, has been happening with Ilya Sorokin. So when you look at Holpe, he's a 30-year-old goaltender. He's on the last year of his five-year $30 million contract he was on with the Washington Capitals. At the end of the season, he will be a UFA. And if the Capitals are smart at all, they need to let him go. They obviously won't trade him because he has a modified no trade clause. So I don't see how that makes any sense, especially with the success they've had this season. But just let him walk at the end of the season. Um, Holpe is most likely going to be getting the type of contract that um, Sergei Borovsky got um, this past offseason to the Florida Panthers at a seven year, $70 million deal. You know, 10 mil a season for a guy who has not looked great at all for the Panthers this season. I don't know, and I, I feel that will be a very similar situation wherever Holpe goes if he goes for that amount of term and money. It just it, it doesn't make sense to me. I get it that there will obviously be teams interested in him, and rightfully so, because Holpe is still a reliable goaltender without a question, but Ilya Samsonov is the future. He still has a year left after this season on his entry-level contract, so let Holpe go, go at the end of the season, and let Samsonov be the starter next season. In my opinion, he should be the starter now, but they're not going to do it with, with the success that they've had and obviously the track record that Holpe has had throughout his career. They're still banking on him to be their number one. But lately and throughout the season, he has not been consistent enough. Samsonov, in my opinion, deserves more playing time. Um, and if the Caps are smart, this is definitely something that they have already thought heavily on and really need to let Holpe walk coming in the season. So... Like I said, Holpe isn't a bad goaltender by any means, but I think that he is, but um, without question, overhyped, and he is only going to continue to regress as he gets older. Unless he becomes in a more limited role as he gets older, with splitting time basically 50-50 with the backup, which is really how the league is turning out to, with having a 1A and 1B goaltender, and I've talked about that in previous videos, but that is really your best bet, so you don't give a guy such a big workload. And with having Holpe have double the amount of games that Samsonov has played in his rookie season, it just doesn't make sense to me. Samsonov has proven he deserves more playing time, and I hope for his sake that comes to fruition. But overall, that's really all I had to say about this video. I just want to get that out there because it's been bothering me for a while. Obviously, I'm not a Capitals fan, but I do follow them like any other NHL team. And Samsonov has been lights out for them all season long in the limited role he's had. He deserves a playing time, and he ultimately needs to be their starter if the Caps want to have um, more runs going forward. I get it that they are in a win-now stage, but you're also taking that risk by having Samsonov in a more limited role this season when he can continue to develop by getting more playing time with having a great team in front of him. Who knows what this capital scheme is going to look like as soon as next season or the year after. Their veterans are only getting older. How long is Alexander Ovechkin going to play at the pace he's at? Nick Backstrom, same thing, you know, Evgeny Kuznetsov, and then you look at John Carlson. Is John Carlson going to have this Norris um, basically winning season next season going forward? How is their defense going to progress or regress? I I don't know, but with the current state of this Capitals team, I don't see them being any better than what they are right now a year or two later. So Samsonov, I think it's in his best interest to get more playing time with this stacked Capitals team that he has in front of him versus him getting more playing time when, you know, the defense might be a little bit more suspect in a year or two. So that's all I have to say about this video. I hope you all um, enjoyed it. Please like, 
if you're if you uh, enjoyed the video subscribe if you like this kind of NHL content that I've been posting consistently and I will continue to do so obviously I'll be talking about the Rangers as much as I can but I also want to make it if not even then you know um, 60 40 or something like that with having talking about other teams in the NHL because I want to recognize others I have so many thoughts on so many things with every team in the league and I want to express that all to you and keep you up to date with things currently going on this season starting with Samsonov that's something that like I said I've been wanting to talk about I'm glad I got it out there for you now so thank you all so much for watching and I will be back either later today or in a day or two